that you? Not me. I'm on my phone. Is that you at home? Hello? Yes, Mum. <laughs> Mum. The Today Show's on. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> Every day, 5.30 to 9. Yeah. Who are you talking to? I'm you? watching those other people, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Takes me back to the good old days. Remember the corner telephones and phone books? No, not so long ago. These were almost every household items, weren't they? Now... They're relics of the past. And while these days it is hard to imagine where we'd be without smartphones, those old phones played a huge part in connecting us to the world and paving the way for the future of communication. It was the sound that once rattled through households across Australia. But for this generation of little Aussies, it's the first time they've ever seen a rotary telephone, let alone answered one. Like. Hmm. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? We're at the National Communication Museum in Sydney, which has an incredible historical collection of devices from all decades, including switchboards operated by an army of telephonists, crank telephone dials, a graveyard of payphones, the first mobile phones known as the brick, and something many of us will recognise, the corded digital telephone. Today, we've brought in these bright young minds for an experiment to see whether or not they can work out how to make a call using an old school phone. Woo! What year would you guess it's from, Gabby? Um, 1997. And what about you, Lily? What would you guess? 1980. I'm um, 180. A very, very long time ago. Very good! And where are the numbers? Nowhere. Um, uh, here. In here. And then where do you speak to someone? Or Try again. Third guess. Mm. I don't know. Right here. Yeah, yeah I, I've never felt so old, actually. So if you drive me along. Our tech expert, Trevor Long, is also here with yeah. his kids. And they, too, haven't quite mastered how to hold a handset. You've got to talk. You've got to say hello. It's both fascinating and a little bit mind-blowing to see kids not know how to pick up a phone and also the simple things like you've got to get a dial tone before you make the call. As for the next generation of telephones, Trevor says... I think we've hit a wall in terms of the innovation in smartphones. They're, they're pretty much stagnated and we're now starting to see how can we fold them, twist them, roll them up. But for some, like Brian Mullins, one of the museum guides, as far as he's concerned... They just don't make them like they used to. Brian, what's that device you've got there? This is an inking register used in 1858, one of our first telegraphic equipment used in Australia. And what does it sound like when you're typing Morse code? Hello, Lara. <laughs> is that what that said? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrific. Do you think this is better or the mobile? We prefer this. For sure. <laughs> And Trevor Long is here now with the latest. Uh, Trevor, good morning to you. The old tech. Um, what about the new stuff now that we've got to look forward well, to? Well, that's the funny thing to me is you fast forward to now, you look at all those phones in that museum. There's no camera. It's not a single camera in that museum. Yeah. But now, the latest smartphones, this is a, an affordable $750 Samsung that's just come out. Oh, it's iPhone 12. It's all about the camera, right? Yeah. If a phone doesn't have a great camera, it's never going to sell. And that's the thing about today. Whereas we take completely and utterly for granted the fact that you mm. can call people mm. and message people, which is in itself a step forward from the Morse code days. Like in that museum in Telstra, there's Morse mm. code, there's everything all the mm. way through. It's phenomenal to look at. Do you remember your first phone number? Uh, I do. My home phone number was 419427. I love yeah. it. You know, do you know yours? 206 Yeah. Yeah, in Capalaba. In yeah. Brizzy, yeah. Head along, please. 853849. Isn't that weird? And see, back in the day, the numbers related to exactly where you were. And they showed me this at the, they've got an old exchange there, how it would route the number through to the destination yeah. by the number. But now the number can be mm. literally anywhere. Now, and do you actually... know anyone's phone number these days? No. I oh, know my wife's number, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's really, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, there's a drama. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, no, no drama, it's just... Oh, Fast no. forward a little bit, yeah. and, it, and it's going to get even what? more crazy. So these are these are both uh, Samsung folding phones. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Ooh. So it looks like a normal smartphone, but folds beautifully in half. I, I really love this. That's the Galaxy Z Fold. 
which um, folds up out into a kind of larger screen style. Gee, that device. is cool, isn't it? And so these these are you know, not only there for a year and a half, two years, but this is, I think, the next mm. step, taking your smartphone and making it different form factors. I, I love the idea of a phone that folds in half so the screen gets protected and the like, and it's actually really easy to carry around. That so. looks so easy to lose. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is ridiculous. I mean, because the flip phones, they, I used to think they were really so cool. That cool, right? I think that we're about to see a revolution in the flip phone again. Do you? When you close okay. that part, it, it's just a normal smartphone. So on the front, again, standard screen. That's pretty, that is pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Very cool. How much are these? That one's around three. There are rumours. Three grand? Even, even today, there's yeah, a off the grass. version of that. <laughs> Who's going to pay three grand this for a phone? Here, I bought this at, for a thousand bucks. Yeah, but that's not three thousand. I know. So that's why I'm saying this is more appealing to me because it's actually yeah. a viable cost. With three grand for a phone? Absolutely not. And you but it's a tablet it. as well. You see, it's a phone and a tablet. It's multiple things in you one. You've got to lay off the sugar, sir. <laughs> <And> you're an <laughs> early adopter. Yeah. That's the great thing. And you've got a bunch of old classics here. This is a real trip down memory lane, I mean, isn't it? I love this, this for me is, is is great because you've got the, the classic rotary dial, which the sensation of the sound, let alone the feeling, like just it is that, therapeutic. Hanging mm. that phone up makes a good sound. Yeah, so and, and when you when you had a, a breakup with your old girlfriend or something, just the sound of this because it's the same sound when you're on the end of the phone. Yeah, it was, but it was therapeutic yeah, to yeah. go. <laughs> but which you know, is so much better yeah. than just going. Oh, please yeah, press yeah. that off Hanging button. out with a group. Tell, tell your kids to use this and they're like, what do you do with it? They barely yeah. know how to make they it. They don't know. Because there's no touch screen or anything to yeah. do. Obviously, we evolved through to the BlackBerry, which essentially set the scene for having a yes. My favourite phone of all time, the Nokia 8910. Nokia were huge, weren't nice they? Nice slide up action yeah. there. Just <laughs> gorgeous. The first phone I ever had with internet access. Look at that. Hey, how good is it? Wow. And that's, that's your most popular one, the Motorola oh, Razr. Oh, mum again. Yeah. Mum! Another 10 minutes. I wonder why does that too. No, no, he's, uh, he can get you one of these. Yeah, he can get you one. He, I'm with uh, you, Jenny. I said to him the same thing earlier today. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't listen to me either, Jenny. I have lost a bit of weight. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, Mum. Okay, okay. And what about, do you reckon, is the problem with the Broncos at the moment? <laughs> so, what do you reckon, Trev? Good times. Yeah, good times. All right. Good stuff. We'll leave Mum we'll there. She doesn't know. We've got her on. <laughs> and once again, I'd just like to say, <laughs> up next, get your gut held back on track. We're going to be looking at the simple things you can do to reset 